So Dan, ah, yes. An interesting topic of conversation. Mm. Is this the greatest, greatest hits album of all time? No. No? What makes you say that? Abba Gold. You reckon? Abba Gold. Th th this is a brilliant greatest yeah. hits album. Yeah. But I, I would say, and uh, I'd also say the Carpenters. Uh, greatest hits. When I when I um, thought about doing this, I thought that's exactly what you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go, no, Abba Gold and Carpenter. Is it Carpenter's Gold as well? It might be, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, this, I mean, I can I tell you that this. I my parents bought me this yeah. for my. I was in year six, so was that ten years old? <sighs> I don't know because I think when it was. <laughs> That far ago, they didn't call it year six. I, I, it was like was it, it was the, the last? It was like third year. The, the last one before secondary before you go school. to secondary school. Big so school. you would have been ten. Ten. Yeah, yeah. They bought they bought me this. Uh, I think I've said this on the video before. Actually, I got this for my birthday and I took it in the school with me. All right. Just to show what my, the vinyl. Yeah, the vinyl yeah. to show my friends. Was it too vinyl back in the day? I don't remember that. I don't, actually. I don't think it was. I thought it was all on one. I think you're right. Mm. I think it was one one record. Because obviously this is a reissue. This is um. Has it got all the same songs? 2011. Yeah, yeah. So um, I had this on cassette. Yeah. For, I got it for Christmas on cassette, and I basically wore the cassette out. Oh yeah, I, I listened to this constantly. It, it to to the point where when um, a Queen song comes on. Yeah. And it finishes. You expect it to go I'm into the next song. I'm expecting from, yeah. another one bites the dust to come on after. Yeah. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think. Well, this is the best Queen album, if you include this as an album. Well, you know, I don't this is better than every Queen album. Yeah, Queen are not a great albums band. Oh, I would say. Oh, Tim. That's... Looking, looking at some of these albums on here, they're not a great, great albums band, are they? They're more of a Sheer great Heart singles Attack's band. A brilliant album. It's a good album. Night at the yeah. Opera, Day of the Races. <laughs> They've got a bit of filler on them, haven't they? Oof. Not much. I mean, I, Queen after this there's, doesn't hold a lot of interest for me, I must admit. Wait, you know what was um, that really weird album they did? Um, the one where they, they were all off the No, I think, was it when Hot Fred, Space? Hot Space, when yeah. Freddie Mercury was in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Some of that I some quite like, though. weird disco on it. It's some yeah, of it's quite, quite cool. Like, I quite like some of that. Yeah, but again, it's not a great, great some album. Some of it's bloody awful. Yeah. Yeah, and this if you if you were going to tell someone to buy something by Queen, well, of course, I, of course, of course, wouldn't you? you of yeah, course, this is this is the thing, isn't it? This is, this I'd is also probably... tell them to get Queen Greatest Hits too, as well. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... yeah, Queen's Greatest Hits good. It's it's not as good as this. No, I didn't say it was, no. but it's still got some brilliant stuff. No. Yeah. Hammer to fall. I'm going slightly mad. Who wants to live forever? But would you recommend anybody get Queen Greatest Hits three? I think that's, no, that's pushing it out a bit. I mean, far, that that it? had some lovely that's stuff. That's got on some it. Freddie Mercury solo stuff on it. Hasn't it's it? not. Yeah. A, it's, yeah, they they were kind of really pushing the envelope of what is Queen, weren't they? Yeah. Did it have like Barcelona I think on it? It's got Barcelona. And has it got Living on My Own? Living on, it? on My Own. Yes, it has. Yeah. Uh, so, and nothing wrong with any of those songs. It kind of had those. Um, not Queen, is it? Was it stuff from the Made in Heaven album? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Some of that's yeah. beautiful, mm. but obviously, and, and also the you know the circumstances around it were just heart yeah, heartbreaking. Of course, yeah. But uh, would you listen to that now? I don't. You know when know. the show the, yeah. the show must go on. Mhm. Mm did they know he was dying when they did that? I song? don't know. Or was that before? I, I think it might have been before. It's incredibly poignant that one. It isn't is, it? yeah. And that um, those were the days of my lives. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a beautiful a bit, song. It's a bit soppy though, isn't it? Oh, so the vocal on that is incredible. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so Queen Greatest Hits. Yeah, I, I would stand up and say it is one of the greatest, greatest hits albums of all time. Well, no, uh, you asked me. Yeah, but is I'm, this I'm the... asking you, is it the greatest, greatest hits album no. of all time? You say Abergold is better. E, I, I'd say there's a, a toss up here between Abba, Bee Gees and Carpenters. What's the Bee Gees' greatest hits called? I think it's called Greatest Hits. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest best... hits of the Bee Gees. <laughs> yeah. The best of the I can, Beatles. I can't 
envisage what it looks like and obviously see what other gold looks like and carpenter's gold it doesn't it's matter what it's called cool does it you you know the best of the Bee Gees is gonna be brilliant yeah well yeah but is it as good as Queen hmm I'm not saying it is as good as Queen. It's hard to compare the two different kinds I can categorically say I don't think this is the best greatest hit. I think it's one of the best. Yeah. It's a brilliant it's, greatest it's hit. It's flawless, isn't it? There's not a, a bad moment on it. No, there isn't. Every a, there song is, is great. Uh, let me just You're remind. You're going to find a song that you don't like now, aren't you? I don't think there's a bad song on it. Five minutes later. Flash annoys me. Oh, really? So now I love Flash. Now, when I was young and... We used to have like family parties. I vividly remember this uh, this album was obviously on on and off the turntable most of the night. Different songs were being played, and then some people put something else on. And I were, I got really stroppy that they wouldn't play Flash. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to hear Flash. Yeah, yeah. So they put it on for me, and of course, it's not really a party song, no, is it? It's you a, completely killed the mood. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> left after that. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a crap party. I, yeah. me- I remember we, when we like, used to have like parties at my parents house it was yeah. like when my auntie and uncle used to visit from Stockport and I remember there was it was the summer of the bangles okay yeah and the what um, Manic Monday and what like an Eternal Egyptian Flame and, oh Eternal Flame that was I, later I, wasn't it I remember them all getting up and doing karaoke singing <sighs> Eternal Flame it was just absolutely dreadful <laughs> <laughs> so whenever yeah. I hear that now I can just badge my family butchering the song yeah um, Scarred for Life yeah, I mean, was there a reason you brought this with you? I just thought, I was, I was flicking through some records earlier on and it was there, and I thought, well, that, that is the only Queen album I own. And then I thought, well, it's oh, obviously it? the it? only Queen album I own because I don't need any other Queen albums, really, because this has got all of the best songs on it. Well, <laughs> it does, it does have the best songs mm. on it. Seven, and then se- I seven myself, Seas of Life, yeah, is, is this the best Queen album? Yeah. For me, it would be because it's a bit Alan Partridge, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favourite Beatles album? I have I'm to say. saying my point is Queen aren't a great albums band; they're a great singles band, and this that's, has got that's all their controversial best singles Tim. on it. Very so. controversial. So then I thought, I wonder what Dan would think, and then I thought, I bet he'd say Abba Gold. Well, I don't have Abba Gold. I thought, I thought. Otherwise, I would have grabbed it th- and gone, "There you go." I thought you'd say Abba Gold. I do have all of Abba's albums. Are you Abba are a great I, album? Do you band. think? Do you do you think that? Is the better greatest hits than Abba Gold? No, I don't think there's much in it. I don't know. I mean, I prefer to listen to Abba, so I would probably probably agree with and you. And you think Abba, Abba are a great albums band? Mm, yeah, yeah. So, you, do you think most of their albums are great? Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Interesting, because they're not a lot of their albums really. Well, they're not really known as an albums band, really, are they? I guess they're, they're, more they're of never a held. Band they're never well. held up in high regard no, when people no. talk about. Yeah. Mm. Interesting one, isn't it? I, I always I mean, arrive, listen to a whole album. Where it's is like Arrival that. your favourite album? Um, Arrival on the Visitors, probably. Oh, really? Visitors, really? Yeah, because yeah, it's so dark. That was later, wasn't it? Yeah, so, well, like late, mid-80s, isn't it? Yeah. I do quite like the new one as well. Well, it's still relatively new, isn't it? When did that come out now? Two years ago? Three yeah. years ago? I guess. I mean, yeah, the good thing about that is, obviously, a lot of those were songs they were working on then. Mm, yeah. So it really does have the feel of ABBA. It does, yeah. It was much, much better than it yeah. deserved to be. Yeah, you're probably right. Whereas everything that Queen have done without the Car- Carpenter's gold though, Tim. <clears throat> what do you think about that? Well, that's great, yeah. Uh, they're probably more of, you know, not really a great albums band. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. There's, There's some some stuff on some of the albums which is a bit... Mm, yeah, more kish. Difficult to, difficult to wave through. Absolutely, no, um, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Well, again, uh, after's gold, there's not a bad moment. I, th- I it, think so. the Eagles are the same. Yeah, you're probably right. The the great yeah. the Eagles greatest hits. What was that called? Is it like the Definitive Eagles or what was it just greatest hits? That's a brilliant greatest hits. Yeah, I can, again, I can envisage the cover. Like, yeah, I can it's a fantastic. That there's not a, a bad moment on that. However, yeah, you, you go back through the Eagles albums. There's not a perfect one. Like Hotel California isn't perfect, and that's probably their most famous one, isn't it? It's one of the biggest selling albums get, of all time. I think because of that song, isn't it? But yeah, yeah. it's not a perfect album. No, um, no. You know, the, like you said, you got bands like Fleetwood Mac who have a, a, a really good, great greatest, albums. greatest hits, but they've got the great albums. Great. Yeah, but then obviously there's different periods of 
Fleetwood Mac. Oh God, yeah. Really? Yeah. You're, you're, you're talking about whereas again, there really is with Queen as well. I suppose there's. The Queen Greatest Hits albums kind of separate their periods out a little bit, don't they? Mm. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, well, that's that was a clever thing about doing, yeah, <clears throat> Greatest Hits one. Um, when was this album originally? It was early, early eighties, yeah. When it originally came. Was out. it? Yeah. Was it? Well, I'm guessing so because it's got. Was it Flash after, after Live in. Aid? No, before then. Was it? Yeah, I think. It was. Well, it goes up to Flash Gordon, doesn't it? Or is there any? There's nothing from Hot Space on there. There's nothing from Hot Space that's considered to be good. I think the Flash. I mean, the Flash Gordon film is quite maligned, but I actually watched that again not so long ago, and I really enjoy it. I was not a fan. Got the nice big 4K box set of it, and the soundtrack's brilliant. Let's find out when this came out, Tim. <clears throat> Do you reckon it was? Reckon it, I think it's before Live Aid, because Live Aid's 85, yeah? Uh, 81. 81, so yeah, yeah you're right, you you're right. So it's before Hot Space, isn't it? So yeah. Flash was 80. So yeah, so up to Flash. So Flash would have been like, still relatively new at the time. They used to show Flash so many times on TV, didn't they? It was yeah, they did, probably yeah. Probably cheap. I always remember being quite scared when I was a kid of that bit where that like, guy from Blue Peter puts his <laughs> hand <laughs> in that thing, yeah, <laughs> quite frightening as a child. And the guy with the metal face. There was a few, yeah, a yeah. few moments from films that stick with me. There was that. Yeah. The bit in Star Trek: Wrath of Khan <laughs> was it like scorpion thing going into the yeah, air? Yeah, yeah. That absolutely <laughs> petrified me. And that was on TV all the time. As yeah, well. I I remember hiding behind the sofa, and I think my parents sent me to bed. And the other bit, I think, was um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom with the. Uh, the uh, heart pulling bit. Oh, I remember vividly seeing that. See, I th the thing is and they I... always used to cut that on TV. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, it's only when well, I, I think that's made it worse because seeing it on TV where they kind of cut away, you then create in your head yeah. what, what it is, and it's actually much worse. And I then think when you're you do right. actually see it, it's the effects not that great because I <clears> uh, sat down with my two boys to watch that. You know, fairly recently, a few months back. Yeah. And when that scene happened, I was like, "Oh, it's a bit." And I kind of looked, strong. looked at my, you know, and both Louis and Milo a little bit like. Yeah. I was like, I don't remember that. I don't remember it being that graphic. Yeah. yeah. I still, it's rated twelve still. I think Temple of Doom. I, I, I <clears throat> the you know, you know where their face, the fa faces melt away. Um, is that the that's same film? Lost, Raiders of Lost Ark. Yeah, at the end. I don't remember seeing that either on TV. Was that cut? As I well? don't remember watching Raiders of the Lost Ark as much on TV, so I don't know. I always remember watching Temple of Doom because that used to seem to be on at every Christmas in the sort of late eighties. The think. thing, the thing that I remember, which really freaked me out, was when they're eating monkey brains. Oh yeah, that's Temple of Doom, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I remember that sticking in my head. Yeah, I really like Temple of Doom. Some people are quite down on it, but I really like Temple of Doom. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I love all three of those films. <laughs> yeah, there are only three of those films, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> having said that, yeah. I, I was having a uh, conversation with the others the, uh, the other night. Ha having witnessed the new one... Oh, you've seen it, have you? Well, I, I tried. I think I got about 40 minutes in. I watched it, it all. It made, did you? Yeah, two, all two hours and 30 did minutes. Did it get any it. better? Oh, no. no. Uh, from what I saw, it made me appreciate the fourth one a bit better. Oh, no, it's, it's better than the fourth one. Really? Oh, yeah. The fourth one is appalling. The, this one is, when it gets going, it's got some. Oh, is that right? Kind of fun parts to it. But then the fourth one shits the bed with the ending, doesn't it? With the whole, oh, there's aliens now. Oh, that was, yeah, that, like, that was ridiculous. Go away. That Awful was ridiculous. Film. Awful film. But yeah, so yeah, it's a bit of a blast from the childhood. But um, yeah, I this mean, is a blast from my childhood. This it, one, I, I vividly remember listening to this constantly, all the time on the cassette. It's definitely, definitely in the top five. Yeah, and I had it. I think when I got my first ever CD player, I was bought a copy of it as well. So I had like a like a boomboxy kind of CD player, and it was like a. Uh, you would put the CD in at the front and it would oh, shut like you, that. You remember you telling me about this? This is shit design. Front loading yeah, kind of so, like yeah. vertical. So you got your speakers either side of it doing this and the <laughs> CDs doing that and it's yeah. skipping like yeah. wire all the time. So yeah. load of rubbish, really. Yeah. But, um, I thought this CD's not very good, is it? It's a bit temperamental. You know I mentioned the Carpenters earlier. Yeah. Because I love like their best songs I love. I'm not saying I'm a fan of the albums because their albums weren't that great. 
but as songwriters go, I just adore the Carpenters, but there's a lot of people who really cannot stand them. I don't know why. And they get quite angry if about you like, it. Yeah, well. I know, because I think they're considered, even even back then they were considered a little old fashioned, I think, weren't they? Even yeah, like yeah, exactly. 70s, so. what's, I, I what's wrong with that? I shared a video <laughs> on Facebook, and that, that's never a good idea, is it? <laughs> oh no. Um, of, no. <laughs> um, um, Karen Carpenter playing the drums. Yeah. It was a, just a cool drum solo. She's an, one of the greatest drummers of all time. She's really yeah. good. And, Incredible you know, drummer. And um, she was, um, I think it was on some like a TV show, something like that, like a uh, variety show. And she just does a, an amazing drum solo. Yeah. And I shared it, just like, oh, this is cool, you know. And someone replied, like, oh, I can't stand this modern rewriting of history where. Uh, everyone's pretending that the Carpenters were somehow rock musicians, and you know, we they were so, never so taken. What were they then? They were never <laughs> taken seriously, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to. It's just sort of someone I know, as well. <laughs> you know, it's sort of someone I'm friends with, but yeah. really quite um, vociferous in their like response. Um, I found that quite interesting. Yeah, I'm, I have seen that kind of thing directed at Carpenters before. But... For I'm guessing the way they they, they consider them to sound twee and old-fashioned, but yeah, they do. but that's what's good about the music and the songs are that the songwriting, the lyrics, the songwriting is just super. second to none. Yeah, um, the orchestration, the productions, it it's just perfect for them. Yeah, and her voice is just like silk. It's, it's just yeah, it's unmatched, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you've seen other people come along and try to. I remember, like, when was it like Nora Jones when she came along, and you know, was, yeah, you could tell yeah. that she's very, very influenced by that kind I of thing. A, a majority of female artists that have come along since Karen Carpenter have been influenced by her. Yeah, not in it, some way. Yeah, maybe indirectly. indirectly. Yeah, it's the same thing with. Um, I rewatched the Sparks documentary for the seven hundred and fiftieth time <laughs> the other day. Um, in the summing up bit at the end, there's people that say, oh, well, somebody says, um, you know, there's, there's going to be bands now that are influenced by Sparks that don't know that the lineage of what they're influenced by goes back to them with that kind of music. Well, that, that that's true for so many things, isn't it? Yeah, I was just using that as an example. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's what I saw. But yeah, yeah so with the, Car the Carpenters, yeah, there's, there's people that are influenced by them that came out around the time, and those. You know, there's female artists that have listened to those artists that probably yeah. don't know that it goes back to the style that Karen Carpenter had, and mm. yeah, she was an incredible drummer as well. So, I mean, obviously Queen is um, they're they're quite a high emotions run high with Queen, don't they? They do, yeah. Um, yeah. They they, they know, always uh, draw. There's a, a lot of emotional people, response out of people. Yeah, and obviously a lot of people sort of angry that they're still a thing with uh, Brian and Roger um, not John obviously because he's not interested and they've got that Adam Lambert singing who's clearly a very talented singer oh, yeah, I'm sure he's a great singer I've never really heard him sing any Queen stuff so. um, and then they had that album with um, they did that QPR album didn't they uh, Queen Paul Rogers yeah <laughs> <laughs> QPR <laughs> and um, <laughs> There was it cut space cosmos something like that. Was it called? I've, I've, um, it's actually quite <laughs> good. I, I honestly, this is the only era of Queen. Like and the eighties stuff. It sounds like, nothing like Queen. I didn't to be listen fair. to anything after that. I don't really know. Made in Heaven. And but you'll accept Paul Rogers as a good singer. Oh, he's a great singer, and I'm sure yeah. Adam Lambert's a great singer. But mm. they're not. It's not Queen, is it? Hard though, isn't it? If if your singer dies. <clears throat> And or is it, imprisoned or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess if your yeah if your singer dies and it's a singer like Freddie Mercury that you, you can't replace him. Mm -hmm. It is tough, isn't it? I mean, obviously um, Brian May did have quite a successful solo career, didn't he? He had a solo career. Yeah, the Asmus, didn't he? Had, yeah, yeah. Everything we do is driven by you and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Didn't, like a car manufacturer appropriate that song. That's why. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's that's success, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's a big it's, hit. Well, artistically, was it successful? He did. He did, a, he did a world tour, didn't he? I, I've got no time for Brian May. 
I'm Roger Taylor, not at all. You've got no time for them? No. Why? No, what? what if I see them on TV, I turn them off. There's something about them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just, what, I'm what, what's going on here, Tim? There's no interest in anything they do and say. And yeah, what's going on? I just don't think... What have they done don't to think you? They're what, relevant anymore. What's Brian May done to you? Well, they too? carried on, didn't they? <laughs> That's the main thing. They carried on. If they changed well, the they, name. Yeah, they carried on as Queen. Yeah. Okay. If they changed the name, it would have been fine. Has this got anything to do with Brian May's political opinions? I don't know what Brian May's political opinions are. The only I, thing I know about Brian May, other than the fact he looks like a wet poodle, is that he's married to someone who looks exactly like him. Oh yeah, which what's is that her face? Bird that used to be in EastEnders. EastEnders. And. Um, <clears throat> He's all about anti badger culling, isn't he? Oh, is he? Oh, Something about okay. that. He's quite involved in his Is he like life. an animal rights terrorist yeah. kind of thing? I don't think he's a terrorist, Tim. I, oh, I think he cares about animals. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. I don't have a problem with anyone that cares about animals. I care about animals. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't even, I didn't even know that about him. That's how interested I am in I Brian think he, I think he's quite politically involved. Is he? Well, good yeah. for him. Uh, I mean, I am I get put off by any. A musician who has any political opinions yeah. I just it just winds me up I don't want to hear it Roger Taylor just play your music he just he's, he's basically just he reminds me of Lars Ulrich he has the yeah, same yeah you're right he's literally the same person as Lars Ulrich you're right it? actually yeah. I've never thought about yeah. that now you say it <laughs> They can't now even look a little bit similar to Squint in this kind of picture here. But to be fair, I've never heard Lars Ulrich sing. I know he's got a very high pitched falsetto, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he he's does. that he's responsible for a lot of those, a lot of that early sound mm -hmm. because his falsettos are just so. I don't get me wrong; they're all great songwriters, and that was what's good about Queen back in the day. You could tell yeah. who'd written each song yeah, yeah. by the by the style of it, which was which was great. But Queen was the four of these people, mm. and without these two. Mm. What's the point of carrying on? Mm. <laughs> well, they, by all means, carry on and, and get you know Paul Rogers in, great mm. singer, and change the bleeding name. Yeah. But uh, again, I, I've yeah. never heard it, so I can't really. Uh, this is just what I feel about it. No, so I, I don't. This I don't know. I've never sense. heard it. So I mean, John Deacon has always been of the yeah, opinion. Yeah, a lot of respect for John Deacon. Queen died when Freddie died. Oh, you know, of course they did. Yeah. How um, could you replace Freddie Mercury? <laughs> well, you can. You can. Well, they did. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. I can see, like, has a, like a, a a tribute tour thing with a singer, and going out and doing the songs and stuff. That's cool. But to carry on and release new material under that name and uh, just these so these used to be in a band called Smile, didn't they? Yeah. Before they became Queen. They did. Um, yeah. <clears throat> my first uh, my my first proper band was managed by John Anthony, who. I think he produced one of the sides of Queen One, mm -hmm. and I think he, I think he was pretty much responsible for discovering Smile, yeah, and then um, taking them to um, was it Trident Studios? I can't remember now, but he's told me lots and lots of stories about the band and Freddie, and um, you know, a, obviously a very talented bunch of uh, bunch of kids at the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely. And they did stand alone, didn't they? Because they, they, they don't look or sound like anyone else. No, no. Well, they had that they, hard rock about them. They did, yeah. But they weren't a hard rock. But they weren't, you know. They weren't. But they didn't have the theatrical kind of aspect to it. The in the early couple of albums, did they? So it wasn't until sort of the mid seventies that mm. they had that whole kind of the falsetto -y kind of stuff creeped in, and around the time that they were. Um, Oh, they played some gigs with Sparks, didn't they? That's right. Yeah, yeah, they supported them. So, don't know what happened there. I don't know if they. Uh, is this your theory, is it? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I know Brian May was approached to be in Sparks at one point, and he, was he? turned them down and stayed with Queen. Yeah, before Queen. I can't imagine that. Yeah, that would have. That wouldn't work. Oh, before Queen. Before Queen made it big. I mean, where he was in. Right. Queen. Okay. Okay. So, you know, around the time of Queen One or Queen Two. I Brian May's so. popped up on so many <clears throat> different albums, hasn't he? He's, um, yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he was on a, a Black Sabbath album in the 80s. One of the albums with Tony Martin on vocals. Is he? And you can tell it's him from a mile off. Well, you can, he's got it's, such a distinctive he really, guitar sound. Yeah, to be fair to Brian May, yeah. you always know it's Brian yeah, May. Absolutely. It's like when he did that appearance on that Meatloaf album. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, to be fair, it worked really well on that one, didn't it? But um, it's like, you don't even have to be told, yeah, well, that's Brian May playing, isn't it? You know. 
Yeah. But like Van yeah. Halen, I guess. Van Halen had his own sound. And yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so we come to the conclusion that there's no conclusion. There's no conclusion. That yeah, undoubtedly one of the greatest greatest hits. I, I would say it's in the top five. Top five. But you've only named two other, or maybe three others. You've named <coughs> Abba, Abba, Bee Gees, Bee Gees, Carpenters, Carpenters, Eagles. Oh right, okay, I'll let you off then. Would you agree yeah. with that? Um, I probably would put the Eagles up there because I'm. Mm. It's a brilliant oh, greatest yeah, hits. Yeah, it's, it's good, but maybe you can put something like ELO in there. Maybe. Oh well, yeah, that's a good shout. They had a yeah, very good greatest hits. Yeah. They did. Um, but I wouldn't put that above this. I, I, would, no, I, I would. I would. I would put this above the ELO, and I love ELO. I would put this above ELO. I'd put this above Bee Gees and um, and ELO. Probably, ELO did have some great albums, Carpenters. didn't they? They did. Yeah. Yeah. Better albums than Queen. Though. Yes, I agree <laughs> with that. Yeah. Cool. Right. So that was an inconclusive debate. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See you next time.